Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kyle with Columbia River Chiropractic. We are bringing you your next tip for Tuesday. Um, today and next week, we're going to talk about the TMJ. So that's called our temporomandibular joint. Um, and very often when we tend to have pain around our jaw, it's referred to as TMD, temporomandibular dysfunction. So we're just going to, going to go into two basic ways of understanding how that uh, dysfunction can usually originate and talk about a simple solution that we do around our clinic that can um, very often help with this dysfunction. So let's think of the jaw uh, very simply as two joints, um, one on either side of the head here, and they're kind of a hinge joint. It really just opens and closes. Um, there's a little more dynamic to that, but as far as you guys are concerned, that's basically what I want you to understand. So um, if we were to shift where the, the position of those holes that our jawbone fits into, um, it's very easy to see by throwing off that alignment how it might affect how the jaw is able to function. So um, considering what is going on with the skull in general, what I want you guys to do are picture these little suture lines here that you see in the skull. So they look like little uh, squiggly lines that kind of run all over the skull and that's where the 10 different bones that make up the skull interact and fuse together. Um, but because of the nature of those sutures, we know there's a little bit of wiggle room. Again, we're talking very minute, uh, but if you consider 10 different bones all kind of shifting in unison together, um, it could have a big implication, not only to the jaw, but even the structures that are on the inside of the head. Um, so consider that those 10 little bones shift, and it's very easy to see how that jaw gets thrown out of alignment. Uh, the consequence for this, very often people will say they can't close their jaw all the way or it's very painful when they do, um, or maybe on the opposite end, they're not able to open the jaw all the way. So two very simple signs of dysfunction if either of those things are happening, and again, can be related to what those cranial bones are doing that kind of dictate the position of the jaw. Um, now that's from a mechanical standpoint. From a neurologic standpoint, what I want you guys to understand Again, kind of relative to what these uh, different cranial bones are doing, we have these holes on the underside of our head. This is the big one, that's where our spinal cord comes out of. But we have these two little guys uh, right around the area where my fingers are called our foramen ovale. And we have a special nerve that comes out of those and goes to the muscles around our jaw. They're called the muscles of mastication. Um, so again, these holes, the position of these holes is very important as far as keeping pressure off that nerve and making sure that it can go and communicate to those muscles with our brain as good as it can. So if you take those 10 little cranial bones and start shifting them again, you might compromise the position of that hole, which could compromise the position of that nerve and the ability of it to function from a neurologic standpoint. Um, so again, very two basic concepts, a neurologic uh, dysfunction and a mechanical dysfunction that can probably explain the good majority of jaw issues that we see come into our clinic. A very simple solution that we do here, um, as specialized in our clinic, are cranial, we call them cranial manipulations. Um, and we use them for many different symptoms, headaches, sinus problems, but in particular, we use them for uh, jaw dysfunction as well. Um, and that's something we can go into a little more with our video next week, uh, but I think just for the purpose of educating you guys on what the origin of TMJ or TMD uh, could be, um, hopefully this gives you a little more understanding. Um, so again, my name is Dr. Kyle, Columbia for Chiropractic. Thanks for watching our video. Keep an eye out for our video next week, um, and it'll kind of follow up on a lot of the subjects that we talked about today.